You don't have to go to Japan to get the best authentic anime experience. You can get it wherever you are with Crunchyroll. And right now you can get a premium subscription for 30 days for free if you visit crunchyroll.com slash tyt. And with that, you would get access to all the best anime titles in the world in high definition across all your devices, and you get it one hour after it premieres in Japan. That is pretty incredible, wherever you are. So you can be watching Sailor Moon Crystal, Naruto Shippuden, Sword Art Online 2. So you can get that all for free by visiting crunchyroll.com slash tyt and get your premium subscription today. So you may have noticed a new website that has gone all viral across the internet, how old, how hyphen old, uh, dot net. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And basically this is a uh, project from Project Oxford, which is a joint between Microsoft Research and everyone's favorite search engine, Bing. Anyway, <laughs> so what have people have found is uh, some varying results. Let's take a look at one of our example photos. So, <laughs> look familiar? Yep. People have found, you know, it can be a really cool item. It's really cool when they tell you you're 29. I really like that. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's the cape that takes a couple of years off there. Well, we should all wear capes always. Right. Actually, yes, we really should all wear capes. But no, that was actually that. That yeah. was kind of fun. Now, I'm not going to lie. If it said I was like 52, I wouldn't be happy. I but, would be pretty mad too. Actually, yeah. I made one of the other hosts in the network, John Idarola, mad by finding a lot of terrible pictures of him that said oh, he was 40, no. and he was so mad no, at me. No. Anyway, some other people <laughs> have found some other interesting uh, results <laughs> from howold.net. So these are all taken in one photo shoot, it's, same wow. lighting it's not conditions. Just like one photo shoot, it's the same lighting. It's literally a series. <laughs> Apparently, shifting your face down will result in almost a ten-year age difference. So this is some wildly different results uh, yeah. from you know as a pretty much controlled setting. I will say it did get right the fact that I am somewhere indeed between the ages of twenty-three and thirty-seven. <laughs> a plus wow. computer program. Yeah. Nailed it. Mine's not you the right age. It. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's not the right age. Well, um, you know, it's it's all over the place. People have said that they are, you know, I'm not 14 years old or I'm not 85 years old. Yeah. It's been wildly uh, different and it's skewed on a few different uh, reasons why, like you said, looking up, looking down, mm -hmm. where the light's hitting. Where, yeah. yeah, well, I purposely put in a picture where my face was up like this and the light was hitting me this way because it, it blurs anything under here. So, I mean, there's anybody who poses for selfies all the time knows, I, how to, which cheat. I don't know, what, I don't know, yeah. Now, I don't do that at all, Instagram. Um, but but I think that you do kind of get like how, how the light hits you best and all of that. Um, it's the pictures that other people take that maybe well, make the you program, look a little older. The program extracts information from certain parts of the face. Right, right. Uh, facial landmarks, uh, such as the locations of the pupil and the corners of the eye, discoloration around the mouth, like losing of color in the mouth. Is, is that a thing that happens at? when you get older? Yeah. Mm -hmm. really? like, like, you know how dogs and cats, their mouths change colors too? Yeah. We don't know this because we wear lipstick all the time. But no, but that is that is a thing. But I mean, I think the the facial marker thing like it's very it's very interesting. But there are also you know you know people who like you're like yeah she's like twenty three, but she just has this air about her where she's in her forties or vice versa. Or that person's in their sixties, but they have they feel like they're forty. They're just and it's sometimes it's personality, but it's also facial markers. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, and I mean, if you think about like Botox and fillers and all mm -hmm. that shit yep. too. Like, yeah, you can't trick you software. <laughs> <laughs> Computer, nah. Well, Richard Russell, a psychology professor at Gettysburg College, uh, who studies faces and perceptions of aging, like weighed in on this, and uh, he had a couple obvious things to say, such as sagging happens with age. Right. Does it? Uh, but also, he talked Not about. Not in LA. Not in LA. <laughs> as we've just disproved uh, with the addition of fillers and Botox <laughs> and funsies. Um, but he talked about how old we look, how old we look. Is, a, is, is an important uh, distinction. So what uh, the professor had to say was that people who were perceived to look older end up actually uh, dying more soon, really? more quickly, than people who are perceived to look younger, which is crazy to me. It could be, though, that um, you know people who tend to look more youthful tend to act more youthful, or the lines on you your face or smile lines. You probably take better care of themselves. You probably yeah. eat better, like not in the sun. Things uh, that yeah, there are the other things that can trigger. Think you're so assuming they're assuming causality as opposed to right, yeah. right, yeah. Because I mean, like if you're if the lines on your face are because you were doing this all the time, like that's mm -hmm. you know you're going to be perceived probably younger than if it's all like the the angry brown like, angry style. brown lines and yeah, which again does not happen in LA. I don't know if I believe this as much. I mean, 
I think I agree more with like this is just a, an extra factor in a, in a healthy lifestyle as it is. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know if I agree with what the professor has to say with, you know, looking older makes you die more quickly. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it does older consume... makes you die more quickly, but I think, did he say literally looking older makes you die more quickly? He or said people, tend to. People that look older tend to die sooner, correct? Yes. So, yeah, I think more it has to do with the causality of them looking older. Like, if you have someone, if you have two people that are, that are 40 and one of them looks like they're in their early 30s and one of them looks closer to 50, you know what I mean? That's usually Maybe causalities are, harder. are smoking, drinking. Exercise, water. Yeah, like the differences in the lifestyles they're living right. are usually factors that are contributing to that. Yeah. Well, I think what he was trying to get to was like, does this matter how old we look? I mean, a lot of the internet is paying attention to this and <laughs> yeah. freaking out over this and being really happy or really angry about the results. And I guess it does matter on, you know, an extent of your own self-esteem. But do you think it matters, audience? And have you been through the howold.net how old robot? Let us know below in the comments what you found out. And let be blah. Please be sure to subscribe. I'm old in my head.